YouTube, it's your boy, Cortez7. Welcome to The 7 Show, episode number 2. We are back, lads. Interesting, introducing my good mate, Christopher, the big Liverpool fan after a good win. Look at that smile. How you going, lads? And we've got my mate, Edgar. Mate, we're in disappointment land. Tell right, the fans how you're right. feeling. We'll get there, man. But anyways, lads, we've got a big episode, lads, coming up on episode number two. We're going to talk about the results. We're going to talk about big, interesting topics, what's going on in the Premier League this week. We're going to talk about the previews for the uh, next week coming up. And we're going to talk about our um, tipping, how we went as well. And don't forget, lads, at the end of the episode, we're going to get a bit to uh, a Q&A as well. So we're going to get your questions answered at the end. So stick around for that. But lads, the Premier League started this week. And... Uh, you know, the team that kicked it off this week, United against um, Swansea, it didn't go down. Not ideal fashion. Well at all. Mate, Edgar, let's talk about it, mate. Let's, let's drown our sorrows. Let's get it out the way with what happened, mate. Where do we begin, mate? Um, well, well, I thought we started off all right. You know, the way we moved the ball, I was thinking, all right, you know, there's a bit of co- cohesion here. We're moving all right. But, mate, the second that goal went in, jeez. Yeah, like it, it, I don't up. think it really knocked us the first goal. Mm, like we just conceded, one. and you know, um, first half. Even though they did score, I felt like we dominated yeah. the whole first half. But I thought we played like tiki taka, so meaningless possession. We weren't always going forward. It was just side to side, too to the many. Back. Yep. Exactly. Too many passes going sideways. Too many passes going backwards. Yeah. Dominating possession, like it was a real joke in the yeah. end. Uh, towards half time. But, mate, it was um, meaningless. And at the second half, when Rooney came out, scored the second goal. What a ripper. Uh, before that happened, Top we did match. get an injury to uh, Jesse Lingard. Yes, yeah, Sarah, on your proper debut. Yes, we did give our debut to Tyler Blackett and to Jesse Lingard. Yeah. Uh, Tyler Blackett, man, I thought he was good. Yeah. I thought he was uh, class, I don't think he, he didn't get the credit he deserved for that game. Nah, he, he, nah. He looked like a veteran. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did look experienced. But in saying that... Uh, I think it was a great thing, as bad as this is to say, that um, Lingard came off and uh, Yanazai came off. Yanazai yeah, yeah, changed. He changed the game. Yeah. Yanazai. Yeah. He really did. He was our only avenue to goal yeah, he, in he, that he second half. Well. I don't want to get too far, but the way he was running and dribbling the ball reminds me of a young Ronaldo when he was still too much of a hog. Yeah, but, but man, it was there. He was just sidestepping players. Taking shots, just yeah, man, he was dangerous. And he, de- he definitely pings the defenders. Oh back. man, pings them back. A lot. They, they and and, 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 and Gary Monk knew that he took yeah. off um, yeah, that he, left back. What's yeah, he, um, because I think he was Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, he knew. He oh, knew. Yeah. And every time Yenzo yeah, so got the ball, boom, three defenders went yeah. straight oh, to oh, him. So, yeah, yeah, credit okay. to um. So Rooney, Rooney scored the over as a kick, and I thought honestly, not being biased, I thought right, we're gonna run him over now. Four. We're gonna go to second, third gear, fourth gear. Mate, it just did not happen whatsoever. Not at all, man. When Rooney, when Rooney hit that, that free kick as well, yeah. it, was, oh. it just wasn't your day. Ashley Cole's getting a bird shit in his mouth as well. <laughs> <laughs> it even worse. Poor Ashley Young. In Ashley saying that, Young, I, th- I, I thought he played well. I thought he played well, yeah, Ashley yeah. Young. Mate, he did, job, mate. One thing United lack, and I've said this in my uh, review as well, we, we lack leadership. Yeah. And Ashley Young was, a, was it. a great he, he leader. He was vocal the entire time. Yeah, with he the, was. With the back three or back four. You know, but in, got, in saying that, lads, Louis Van Gaal, all pre-season, stick into this 3-5-2. He's yeah. determined. Mm. We saw in the World Cup. Mate, that went out the window at halftime. Yeah, yeah, Ashley, happens, Ashley Young went to left back and... So everything we've trained for just uh, wasn't to be. Well, I think he's a man that just likes to make changes, and half time was seemed like a good choice for him. Mm. Yeah. Well, in saying that, uh, David Moyes last season, United fans would know David Moyes wouldn't even know what it's like to change a team mm. in ninety minutes, let alone at half time. Yeah. yeah. He would just Absolutely. stick and stick and stick to that formation that he, you know, had it in his head from the start of the game and persist. And if it didn't work, well, so be it. Yeah. Lise Van Hal's got the balls to yeah. say, right, you know, Hernandez, you're not good enough, mate. You're coming off. Yeah. Nani, give us something. Yeah. Even though Nani didn't give us anything, you know. And I'll tell you what, um, Gomez, he looked a great player. That's for Timby. Th- yeah, man. He looked really good. Yeah, he should have scored. Oh, he, if he, it, if oh, for a so tackle. strong. He could hold up Fort Knox. That beast. Oh, oh, mate. Beast, mate. So strong. Yeah, but... Um, Interesting how Leon want, want him gone. Like, yeah. They pushed him out the door. They were trying to get him off uh, the previous transfer. Newcastle were after him yeah. for ages, and they just 
didn't seem to get the deal done. Yeah, they didn't get that, man. Nah, but... Uh, I was surprised by Wilfred Boney's performance. It was shocking. Yeah. As a Liverpool fan, strong, we, we've been linked with him in, in you're recently. You're a big fan of him. Yeah. And I, I am a big fan, but for someone who seems to want to leave and want to go to a bigger club, a Champions League club, he did not try one bit, wasn't chasing anything. You reckon his head wasn't in it? Maybe not, but it wasn't good enough. There was, yeah. He just was not chasing. If you're trying to get a transfer, it's not the right message you want to get out. So he didn't, he didn't look good at all. I was impressed with, from United, I was impressed with Phil Jones. I thought Phil Jones yeah. had an excellent oh, yeah. game. I, 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 I'm I not in the same boat as that, man. Yeah, I thought he I f- gave everything. He yeah. did. He always does. He always does. Don't get me wrong. He, he, done a, he, he was actually the one that prevented Gomez from scoring that goal. Yeah, he did. That's the thing about Jones. He always makes last-ditch yeah. tackles, which is fantastic. Mm. But the things what he does off the ball and even on yeah. the ball, he gets himself into these he, situations. He the ball, huh? But in the last-ditch tackle he he's going to make, he gets there. And everyone's yeah. like, oh, well, thank you, Phil Jones. But it's like, hang on. If you didn't put us in yeah. that situation, That's we wouldn't true. be there in the first place. That's my only criticism of Phil Jones. But I'm saying that he's young. What is he? 22, 23? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. That comes with age, you know? So John, I'm not worried about that. John Terry wasn't exactly killing everyone at nah. 22. No, nah, exactly right. Exactly. I, yeah. Um, Darren Fletcher, Edgar. Oh, real man. I'll Look, give it, can I give may, a, a. Yeah, no, no. A we want your opinion. opinion on Fletcher. Fletcher? Oh, oh, he was seemed to be spraying the ball around oh, too much right. and, and he, he's passed. He, he, you can understand why he's not 100%. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I was impressed with Ferreira, but Fletcher's passing seemed to just be a bit astray on, on Saturday. I love Fletch just as much as any other United supporter, but man, we're trying to play a positive game and playing side balls every time is just not going to yeah, get done. Yeah, switching the play a lot. And he lost the ball. I don't know how many times. He must have gone away five times in that first half. Just because yeah. it, it's Fletcher, I didn't flip out. Yeah, no, nah, I was I was getting angry. Mm. I was like, "This is not good enough." Yeah. This is we've been sc- well, we've man. been screaming out for a box to box midfielder. This is why people say to me. I got this tweet the other day from this lad, and he said to me, "You know, we haven't replaced Paul Scholes." I was like, "Mate, we haven't replaced Roy Keane. What are you talking about, Paul exactly. Scholes?" You, you can't you can't replace Paul Scholes, but Herrera does look a good player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mate, really uh, he does. Player. But mate, I think he got a big welcome oh, message yeah. to the hard party. Up, mate. Thanks to uh, John J. Shelby, yeah, your mate. Yeah. But honestly, he got knocked over oh, left, right, yeah. centre. That will change. If you remember De Gea, he was yeah, getting pushed exactly. over left, right, centre. Yeah, yeah. It's a big shock oh, yeah. coming to the Premier League. Yeah, no doubt, man. But uh, in saying that, um, so Gertson got the, the second goal. Yep. And we didn't even look like we were going to even equalise, did we? Mm. Nani came on, was really ill-effective. He didn't yeah. do anything wrong, but he didn't do anything with the ball either. Yeah, he picked up the ball, but he wasn't really hitting any targets. It's just... Yeah. It was, our Abby, only avenue Abby. was Yanazai and Mata was quiet. Look, I don't think it's that Mata's fault. I don't. Think, I just think we weren't finding Mata. Mm. You you got to find Mata. He's not the type of player that's going to go win a fifty fifty and then carry it. Yeah, you but have that, to find Mata. The only thing, mm, my I love one Mata. Hot gun. But the thing about Mata is, he is a uh, world class player yeah. when everything is going well. Yeah. In games like this, when things aren't going well, we need pl- players to yeah. dig us out of this shit. Yeah. And I don't think one matters that player. Mm. He's he's probably the best player we have when we got the ball. And you seen yeah. that Chelsea? Some of you call it a luxury player. Maybe this is the reason why Jose Mourinho wasn't a big fan no, of him. Mourinho, he, some players he just doesn't like. Yeah. He if he doesn't like it, he doesn't like him. Man, full stop. And maybe Lukaku will be the same sort of thing. He won't work at Everton. Mm. He was right we'll again. See, man. We'll see. You know, uh, the thing I was disappointed with with United would, was. Watching as a Liverpool fan made me smile actually on the inside. <laughs> was the fans leaving early in your the first game of the season? Your new coach, you got a chance to come back from behind, and fans are leaving in the eighty fifth minute. Mm. You know, you see a lot of red empty um, seats. Yeah, no, you did. You're right. That's worrying already. You know, after one game. I think two reasons for that. Yes, you're right. Selfish fans used to winning and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Second reason. They're like me. They're pissed off with the Glazers. Ed Woodward, one amount. They can't be yeah. fucked no more. Mate, not good enough, yeah. in my opinion. Oh, I've been there. We, we've been there at Liverpool yeah. at the moment. It's a bit up. But... All right, let's get on to... Um, oh, do you want to say something, Edgar? No, no. All right. Let's get on to uh, your club, Chris. Liverpool. Got a 2-1 um, win over Southampton. And to be honest, I thought it was going to be a lot more than that before kickoff. Yeah. But in the end, I'm sure you would have taken it after the, the way the game panned out. Yeah, it's 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 a fine line in the Premier League between success and failure. And at one all, 
it could have been very similar mm. to the United situation yep. where we could have conceded a goal, heads would have dropped. Who knows, maybe our fans would have left early as well because <laughs> we did not play good at all. But yeah. having said that, I watched a lot of the Premier League this week and I'd say that not one team really clicked. Maybe Manchester City had yeah. it a little bit easy, but there was a lot of wins where it was it was Narrow. hard done, yeah. like Tottenham. Tottenham having to face 10 men, come back, score and win. It, 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 these I these even, games... I'll, you, I'll probably you, say Chelsea were the only one. Chelsea looked good this morning, but you, these games, the early games, it doesn't matter how you win, you just got to get those three points and hopefully the pretty football comes later on. Yeah, yeah, and you can see the um, the expression on Brendan Rodgers' oh, face. relief. Oh, yeah. That goal after... Yeah. I, I haven't seen him celebrate like that. <sighs> Went ever and he went nuts after that second he even goal. Said, he said after the game how important the first win of the season is for I think the lads it, I think it is and again Mignolet has saved us if you remember last oh, year he saved that penalty Sunderland? and in what the last save. what was it seven minutes to go that save I, at first I didn't think it was a save I just thought he hit the crossbar yeah. but then when I seen the replay that's one of the saves of the season that will be yeah. how, how good was Taddy Chan? yeah Taddy Chan was, was really nightmare. good but also that man Keo, I reckon, defended solid brilliantly solid. against uh, Taddy Chu. Looks like he will cause a lot of defensive yeah. trouble this year. Yeah. How did um, how do you think Sterling went without Suarez and Sturridge as well? How do you think Sturridge was a bit in and out? I, I don't think he was yeah. that he was that good. Like he he started off all right, but then he, that's typical Sturridge. He'll go quiet, but then he'll get the goal, which was important. But yeah. Sterling was man of the match, and I Hands think down. he'll be man of the match in almost every Liverpool win. <laughs> That we get because that player is just something else, mate. Yeah, something I'll, else. I was discussing that with my brother. Like, who should I put in my team? Your fantasy team? Yeah, Coutinho or Sterling? He goes, mate, that's not even a question. Put Sterling in in preseason, he looks something else, something yeah, different. But and more than preseason, last season, I, he was I'll amazing. I back him up, man. Sterling looks amazing. If if he carries that on, well, we'll yeah. see. But, mate, he looks too good right now. Yeah, I, I was impressed with uh, Dayan Lovren. Lovren, oh, oh, yeah. Solid. Beast of a game. I, I was not impressed when we signed him at all, but his his voice is so. He was telling Glenn Johnson to get up the wing. Glenn Johnson should get on the bus, not on the wing. <laughs> That's another matter. Um, who else was there? That, yeah, Skirtle played good. The whole Liverpool team was was pretty good on, on, on average. So. Okay, so it was a uh, an average win, as you would say. What weren't you happy with? I the wasn't game? happy from the starting lineup when I seen Labor. Lucas. Lucas was starting. I wasn't. I, I wasn't uh, expecting that at, uh, at all. I've always loved Lucas, but Thank since you. his knee injury, he should not be starting a Liverpool game, and hopefully he won't start another one. And Glenn bit, Johnson, bit like Darren Fletcher, bit like Darren Fletcher. Yeah, fan favorite. Yeah, best days are behind him. But I did not see this one coming. I'm not sure if Emre Chan was injured or. But the move Rogers done at the end by bringing on Joe Allen helped us immensely yep. because his pressing was yep. was heaps better than Lucas Labor's pressing. Um, yeah, so... All right, lads, we'll get on to the, uh, some of the other results. Um, mate, big win from Chelsea. They mm-hmm. went down 1-0, and they came back, and they just romped Burnley. Yeah, they got me excited. Mate, yeah. mate that, that thump that, that Burnley player did. Sorry, yeah. sorry I forget his name, but, <laughs> mate, yeah, what a hit. Nice. He could have scored a second, too. Yeah, yeah he did. Courtois made a nice save. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Game, so, Courtois. Courtois is the main man now? Yeah, yeah he has to be. He's a big boy, mate. He's, oh, yeah, he's okay. a tower. He's 6'5 yeah, six four, four, six or something? You, you can't appreciate... Tall, I'm stretched. <laughs> <laughs> you can't appreciate how tall he is watching La Liga games because they don't have the best cameras but when you see like zoom ins when he stands next to other players high definition power, like, 60 frames per second yeah, yeah on it. Um, but Diego Costa he looks like he's he's going to fun people around man. he's going to no score. I don't know about that man, he's, will, man. He, he didn't, I wouldn't say he played that great nah, he, but he wasn't fantastic he did get the goal got the goal yeah but, yeah, but man, he's so aggressive as a striker man I, can't, I just can't see him not succeeding Looks, Wait till he plays against yeah. the, the bigger defenses, yeah. maybe yeah. like a company or yeah. you know, someone a bit, a bit tougher. Yep. All right. Um, Fabregas, mate. Good. Just good. yeah, good player. One question good I want to ask: players. Why did Barcelona want to let him go? Uh, that what did they? How much did they sell him for? Twenty-four million. It's embarrassing. They they have to fund the Suarez deal in some way. You have to. Yeah. They they need the money. They need financial fair play or whatever the rules are. So maybe they had to sell him for that yeah. reason. On top of that, Xavi decided to stay as well. Yeah, but news coming just tonight, lads. Uh, Barcelona have come out publicly and said Alex Song's for sale as well. So cool. Come over here, mate. <laughs> yeah, I think that we, we could be on a bit of a warpath there with Alex Song because uh, 
I think Liverpool would be interested in. No, nah, you got. I, mate, you I, have to sell Lever. Mate, I think they will sell Lever. Yeah. I reckon that could. That, that was probably putting him on the shop nah, window I, that game. Against I, re- I reckon you guys could both be wrong. I reckon he could be headed back to Arsenal. They need hey. exactly an Alex Song player. Yeah. In my opinion. I reckon he's a. I, I think he's a very good player. I'd love to see him at Liverpool. Oh, I would love to see him at United. He yeah, is. Uh, if you remember him in, back in the Premier League, he was oh, the mate, man for mate. Arsenal. Oh, he Absolute get, monster. How many assists did he give to Van Persie? Yeah, a lot of goals. Mate, that, that you know... He, oh. he picked up the slack for Fabregas leaving. Mate, he was good. Yeah. Was All right. good. Now, the other big team in the top four, or <laughs> not the other big team in the top four, the champions of the Premier League, hey. City. Now, you just said City had a, an easy win. I reckon City had a difficult win, mate. Yeah, oh, yeah. They, I thought Newcastle lucky, really man. gave it really everything lucky. and fought hard. I think they were only... What, how many chances did they have, City? I, th- I think... Probably two. <laughs> yeah. No, Newcastle, sorry. I think... They had a few. They, they almost they scored. They had chances, mate. Yeah, they did. They Right at the end, mate, I thought they scored. Oh, I was up and about. Yeah, 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 yeah the new lad they got. Yeah, young yeah, kid. Um, mate, how do you guys reckon um, City will go this year? Now, by the way, before I ask these questions, lads, I just want to say, we're not giving our top four predictions or our bottom three predictions or any other predictions until... The uh, transfer window closes because I could sit here and say, yep. you know, all the top four teams, and then like I'll give you an example, lads. Last season I predicted Arsenal to finish fifth, first time they're going to finish outside the top four, and I put out the video and I was all happy with myself. The next day they went and signed Özil, mm. and they finished fourth. So you went far off. <laughs> so, so, so without Ozil, maybe they could have got fifth. And ever since then, mate, the transfer window, while it's open, no predictions. Yeah, but City, the champion contenders, without a question. Yeah, yeah man. You've got, well, you've got a squad like that. Sergio Jeez. Aguero the coming bench. off the bench. On the bench, <laughs> mate. But you have Sergio Aguero on the bench. Even had Fernandinho off the bench. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, mate. They got a very good. Strength. Good Milner can't even still can't after five years can't get in the team. Amazing what money can get you, huh? <laughs> yeah. I just think that I just think they're going to put a lot of their eggs, maybe not all of their eggs, but a lot of their eggs in the Champions League basket. So yeah, yeah. I think they're going to really want that. Yeah, probably the hence the uh, loan deal for uh, Frankie Lampard. Hey. Yeah, hey, hey. yeah. Hey. All right. Yeah. Um, moving on, Leicester and uh, Everton drew two all. That was a good game. A few nice goals in that game. Yeah, McGee, yeah. McGeady's goal. Oh man, what that was Peach, <laughs> mate. That was good. That was yeah. That was good. That the only little square that he could possibly hit. Yeah, he, <laughs> hit it. yeah, he found the guy. Hit. Yeah, I pre- I I tipped that. I, I tipped the draw yeah. for what Leicester. What about that young left back? Uh, New Leicester City's got. Who's that? What's Paul, his name? Paul Kaczewski, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where he went after. He's been at Leicester ever, ever since he left yeah, Liverpool, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, I don't know how you had a Liverpool shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and uh, anyways, you predicted this. I'm not sure if you tipped him in the end, but uh, QPR to lose to Hull at home on the opening day. Yeah, we'll get onto the tipping. You later. guys are <laughs> my multi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the bottom. Cute. I can't remember if I did tip QPR. But yeah, is it, is no, it didn't you tip Hull? Hull? Sorry, yeah, yeah. I can't remember if I did tip Hull. But yeah. uh, that for me, a shock result, as much as Man United was the main one, mate, Stoke so, losing at home to Aston Villa. Doesn't yeah. happen, guys. Mate, I but, wasn't expecting that at, at all, especially after all the signings. Boyan, mate, you made the tear it apart. Yeah, he didn't have it. Okay, nah. no, I, think, I think Roy Keane's going to galvanise that Villa squad yeah. a little bit. My Maybe prediction... Yeah. Up the, hours, mate. the only prediction I will make now while the transfer window is open Lambert is that sacked. Lambert to get sacked and Roy Keane, Roy Keane to get in. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um... All right. Uh, I have that beard, but it's shocking, mate. I've had that for years. Oh, He's mate, had that for shocking. years. All right. Another uh, draw, lads, was that uh, West Brom and Sunderland two Some all. Game, yeah. That was an interesting game. That was pretty good. But Berahino Ber- scoring mm. two goals. He looks to be a good player. You know, Seb Larson had the death again. Oh, yeah. oh mate, I know, I know. But a all bit... they need, all they're missing is Barini, and they should throw everything <laughs> at Barini. You reckon? Yep. Mate, the the fee fourteen million getting thrown around that is crazy money. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's, what's I he think done, it's mate? What's we he paid done? for him. We paid twelve million for him. I think Forgot. That... He scored what? Six no, goals in how many games? He's not going there. He he, he doesn't want to. It's a dream if he goes there, but he's not going there. <laughs> he wants to stay. He wants he to wants have a to crack stay. at Liverpool, which is fair enough. You want players like that at your club. You do. You do. <coughs> I don't think he'll get a run at all. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, now, for me, one of the most inter- interesting games over the weekend, West Ham and Tottenham. I yeah. thought that was yeah. a fantastic yes. game for entertainment. 
Yeah, that's probably I'll my favourite game. I dare say it was around. Yeah, I watched it. That was midnight on um, Sunday. Sunday yeah, morning. That was a good. That was a good game. I was excited when I seen the um, Norton get sent off, which was I think was yeah, wrongly, that's cruel, man. wrongly yeah, yeah, sent that's off. Cruel. Was a penalty. Literally, the law is if, it, if it's stopping a goal, which it was, it was probably a goal. Yeah, yeah. has to be sent off, but it's a bit harsh. He, but justice in the end, he missed a penalty. Noble, Noble never mate, misses penalties. Them, mate. He always puts yeah, them away. Yeah, 15 man. in a row, and then I'm thinking, oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Eric Dyer. Talk about Eric hey. Dyer. Good winner. It, now, yeah, how many games has he played? One. That One, was his mate. debut, wasn't it? Mate. From Lisbon. Center back, start of the game, centre back. Because of the, the send off, gets moved to right back, I think it was, and he yeah. ends up scoring the winner. I know, I saw that. 19 years old. It's a master's I, I, To be honest, I'll be straight <laughs> out honest. I've never heard of the lad. And when I seen him come on, I'm thinking, geez, who's this kid? Because yeah. they always... Did they have Harry Kane? Yeah, Harry Kane was on the bench. bench. He gave the assist, actually. I thought he was going to come on. Yeah. I thought Harry Kane oh, was... Yeah. Um, Harry Kane, world, world class Harry Kane. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one thing that did stand out to me, um, that last week we were talking about, Andros Townsend. He came on and made such an unbelievable what impact. What did say, boys? He, I, think, I told he, you, he, mate. No, yeah, I, think, I think Sunderland wanted to put a bid in for him. No. Oh, did they? Yeah, I read that too. I'm ago. telling you, mate. Townsend he good, looks mate. like oh, a that. talented lad. You're still not a fan. No, words, I'll mate, never be a fan of anyone that wears that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, but, uh, mate, in the end, nine, was it 90th minute? Yep. They got Can the I winner? just say one thing about Townsend. West Ham? Yeah. Uh, that... that they should have went for that game. At, oh. They should have really attacked that game at 10 men. Exactly. Sam big fan, you know, Big he Sam. Do he, he lost his chance there. He still... Collins got sent off. He stayed with Carlton Cole up front and didn't change it. Talking. Carlton Cole looks exactly. absolutely shocking. He got the right on the bench, mate. Yeah. yeah, but he's probably not fit to play 90 minutes. He's still Best better than Carlton uh, Cole, mate. <laughs> but in Valencia looks good. In even, Valencia. Even... I was impressed with that left-back Cresswell from West Ham. Yeah, yeah. Looked yeah. a real good yeah. player. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 From Ipswich. Yeah, you know, the only reason I've heard of Dyer is because I've bought him that many times on FIFA. <laughs> oh, you know, man. Looking for a young English centre back. Yeah. yeah. Dyer. <laughs> um, now, probably the biggest news of the week before the game was uh, Tony Pulis getting sacked yeah. and Arsenal doing a job over Crystal Palace, lads. Yeah. What do you think of that game? Yeah, well. I that was very, very similar to United and Liverpool game where. Arsenal could have easily have lost that game. If you look at the result, you're like, oh, yeah, I guess it was kind of expected. But if you actually watch the game, you're like, hey, you kind of got away here. Yeah, very lucky, yeah. very lucky. Angleland, mate, doing what he does best. Yeah. Mm. Aaron Ramsey was, uh, got the winner again, and he looks like to be... Bloody Ramsey, mate. He scores. He's a good... He scores, he's mate. Good. Quality player. Got he's going to be up there this season for the PFA Award. He'll mm-hmm. be up there. I'm not saying he's going to win it, but... If he doesn't get injured. If he doesn't get injured. What do you think of uh, Alexis Sanchez's uh, debut? He was trying. He was trying very hard. He was yeah. trying to be too hard. I yeah. think he was yeah. taking shots from absolutely everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I think but he'll get there. He I think I, I got someone tweeted me this question today, and it's coming later. But I really want to talk about it now. But we won't talk about it now. It's got to do with Alexis Sanchez. So stick around till then. Wait. Yeah, my views. All right. Um, and we had. Uh, I think that's it for all the games. I think we've covered all yeah. of them, haven't we, lads? That's the one, though. Yeah. Now let's get on to news. Big news that's happened this week, lads. All right. Uh-huh. All right. Biggest news this week, all right, it's got to be Tony Pulis getting sacked for, mate, two walking days. Out. Or walking out, yeah, exactly. Quitting. Quitting just, what, two days before the... Uh, PFA manager of the year, Tony Pulis. <laughs> Get in. I'll say Get that in. every week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, leaving and quitting just, uh, mate, two days before the season, and he's just left Crystal Palace in a massive hole. Talk about a dog move, huh? No, mate. I think uh, I think good on him sticking to his rights, mate. If your it. chairman is not backing you in the same way which you agreed in to take on the role, fair play to him. But would Tony Pulis be doing this if he wasn't PFA manager of the year? Seriously, because now he knows that he'd be, he'd, be he'd be a wanted man. Hmm. He's, yeah. he's, he'd have he'd have opportunities, but if he wasn't, if he just had an average season, he had an average season. I don't think he'd be he'd be complaining like this. But he he, he could probably go coach a bigger club at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Say Newcastle, your party starts struggling. Bang, bang. Tony Pillars, big job there. Do they back players though? Coaches very good there. point you raise. Very very good point you raise. Um, but other big news, lads. One that a lot of you guys are probably just hanging for us to talk about. Man United signing Marcos Rojo. Edgar, mate, tell me about this lad. I'll be honest with you. Let me just talk about him very quickly. 
Marcus Rojo, I know nothing about him. I've only seen about two or three games of him in the uh, World Cup. And even then, he wasn't even grabbing my attention. Yeah. So I'm not going to be real with you and lie to you. say I know this and that about the lad. I honestly know next to nothing. So Edgar, you're the United, uh, United Hardcore fan. Hit me with him. Uh, look, uh, I knew briefly about him prior to the World Cup. And I had seen him play here and there. Oh, yep. Satanta kind of helps me out here and there. Um, you just talk up a little bit. Yep. Yeah, so I'm kind of on the same boat as you. I don't think he's that good. I think I think 99% of United fans are on the same boat as us, mate. Yeah. Well, <laughs> don't know look, much about him. I, I sincerely hope that he proved us wrong. Mm-hmm. Mate, I hope you come in and just dominate, but right now, mate, you got doubters for 20 mil, mate. 20 mil? Yeah. 9 million euros, mate. What? 9 million euros. No way. Yeah, 9 million euros. Out of 20. No, nah, 9 million euros plus Nani in the opposite direction. Oh, and I man. think United are paying Nani's wages. <laughs> As well? That's yeah. 20 mil, there you go. 6 million pounds in million wages. Million. Okay, that could be true. So that's what I read anyway. I'm that sure is it's true, so. Okay, then that could be true. Because Nani is on pretty big wages. He just signed yeah, that yeah. five-year deal last week. Something in a week, man. You know, so... Um, my opinion on Rojo is Man United... All right, at the minute, let's let's be real, lads. We are dying in thirst for transfers. Not just this season, last season, the season before. Can you imagine that season before if we didn't sign Van Persie? We are in the biggest drought of all time. You would think funds are not available. You would think we're $2 billion in debt, you know? We're balling, mate. You know? But fans are getting excited now when we are signing any players oh, no. on twitter on social media fans are getting so excited oh yes marco rojo you know let's be real lads this is alex butner's replacement yeah. not patrice evers we got luke shaw for patrice evers replacement we got rid of butner we got rojo we're yeah. getting excited for butner's but replacement in saying that um rojo genuinely plays as a centre back, okay, and he was put out to left wing back. So he said he did have a bit more freedom playing left wing back, but he predominantly is a centre back. Okay, so this lad is what are we getting? Is his Ferdinand's replacement? Is he Vidic's replacement? Oh look, that's the thing, man. When Vidic came, he looks to me we, like we, he's, no he, one knew who Vidic was until he started performing week in and week out. And so I hope he pro- just turns into a star, mate. I reckon this guy is going to be Chris Smalling's replacement. What do you think, Chris? In saying that, in saying all this, lads, when we signed Patrice Evra, when we signed Nemanja Vidic, I never heard of these lads as well. Exactly, that's what I mean. And look how good they turned out yeah, to so be. So I thought, it's hard. It's hard. I, I don't. I don't know many players that don't play in the Premier League. To be absolutely honest with you, you, know, you do. I, you do. Don't you? You're being a bit modest there, but you do. But just you know, the the majority of stars. I go. So to speak. I go by by. The Twitter feed, the f- Twitter feed about the players that yeah. we linked with, and yeah. and how good that they think they are. But everyone do, does. Do, mate. do they see the players play, or do they just pretend? I don't know how yeah. much football they actually watch mm. in England. Do they watch every league? I think this year uh, they've got uh, the five major leagues on Sky this year mm. and BT Sport. Mm. I'm pretty sure. So must have jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be straight up with you. I get to watch English. Bundesliga, Spanish, and I watch some Portuguese highlights here and there. Uh, Bundesliga, is that on Setanta? Yeah. Every game? Yeah. Um, big ones. Okay, then. All right, then. But like, they'll get around to showing the rest of the game okay. showing throughout the week. So, my, like I said, lads, I'm not getting too excited about Rojo. There's no need for it. Like I said, Butner's replacement, hashtag Smalling's replacement, like... Nothing to be excited about. What we need to be excited about is Di Maria. He's heavily, heavily getting linked day by day by day. Now, with the fans getting, and like myself, you probably saw my Woodward uh, video the other day. Mate, Woodward, Glazers, mate, is it time for them to go? They're not willing to sell the club, so it's quite difficult to say Glazers. Anyway. Well, they are, mate. They've tested the waters. They've yeah, put two hundred yeah, yeah, million yeah. up for sale. Well, they, so they push shares away, but they're predominantly going to hold on to. It. They're definitely smart because yeah. they didn't put the club up for sale when just before um, Moyes got sacked. They waited for Moyes to get sacked, yeah, Van Gaal to get in, man. the new Adidas deal, the new Chevrolet deal, and look at the price. I think it's the, the, on the stock market. We're up to like fourteen dollars or something. So, I think they should stay the next 50 years 
And bring back Moyes. <laughs> uh, did you see David Moyes' interview this week? Did you see his interview? Yeah, yeah I, I read a bit, a bit about yeah, it. Yeah, I read it. Yeah, but I read yeah. about it, yeah. That was a good read. You want a good read? Read the David Moyes interview. Ronaldo, eh? And Bale, man. And Bale. And Bale for, that's yeah. unbelievable. Who doesn't want those Who's two? paid him to say that? <laughs> yeah, no, but, no. <laughs> but honestly, he says that, okay, but in the same sentence, he said... Um, if I was to do it again, the United job, he would do it totally differently. So yeah, what does that yeah, say? Duh. That, yeah. <laughs> of course, man. You know, but yeah. um, he flopped, man. saying that, he came to the, the day he got sacked, he came to United's training ground at four in the morning because he wanted to beat the press. So he got there at Carrington, four in the morning, was doing laps around the training, uh, the ground, just to clear his head, waiting for... Ed Woodward packed up all his gear. Ed Wood knocked on the door, had his boxes ready, and Ed Wood said... It was actually Sir Alex Ferguson that gave him... Um, come and told him that you're you're no longer the, the United Ooh. manager. And uh, he didn't pick up Sir Alex's phone calls for the next six weeks, he said. Jeez. So um, that was that was really, really interesting. Probably because he couldn't understand him. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish and Scottish, man. Hey, true. It's another language. <laughs> but um, anyways, enough of... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Man United uh, news, yep. lads. Uh, Liverpool, Chris. I can't pronounce this lad's name. Moreno, Moreno, oh, Moreno, Moreno, Alberto Moreno. <laughs> there Alberto we go. Alberto Moreno, something. Like Give us your that. thoughts on him. Well, I've never seen him play. I've only go off YouTube, but they could make me look, look real good on yeah. YouTube. I could make you look real yeah. good on YouTube. <laughs> Hopefully, I am. Hopefully, I am at the minute. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. A left back, we do definitely need a left back because Glenn Johnson, as I said before, see you later. Um, right back or left back? What about Flanagan? What's happening? Glenn Johnson played left back against. Um, oh, Southampton, he did. Yeah, yeah Southampton. Yeah. We need a, a left back that can actually use his left foot because Johnson, sometimes he and gets could, on that left side. He, I think he's got a good left foot, but he doesn't use it. Yeah. He'll try to cut back onto his right side and, and just the, the attack's gone. But You need a left back that plays week in, week yeah, out. Yeah, Whatever yeah. happened to Enrique? Enrique. Oh. He looked promising when you signed him. Does look promising. I still, I, th- I think Enrique is a good player as a backup man. Squad right? player, good squad yeah, player. Good squad player, but not no way, no way should he be in the in starting. You line. will need him for Champions League this oh, season. I reckon too. Yeah. He's a very strong player too. Like you know, he's not going to get pushed no. off the ball easily. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, lads. Let's get into before we do our previews. Now, last week, lads, we doing our own little tipping competition, the Seven Show, yes. where we predict what team's going to win. Every week, and uh, the results are in, as you can see on the screen right there. I am on top. So I'm on top Rick. with six. Edgar's on five, and my mate Chris is on four. Rock bottom, mate. Top four. Lucky night on the bottom. <laughs> Anyways, lads, uh, this week, let's get to the first game. Aston Villa at home, Villa Park to Newcastle. That is going to be a cracking game, oh, yeah. in It'll my opinion. Uh, predictions, lads. Cool. I'm going to go with the informed team. Go with Villa. Draw, mate. Villa. I'm going to go with the draw as well. I reckon um, I reckon definitely um, it's going to be tough. Newcastle, if they can play the way they did against City, they will be all right. They will be yep. all right, yep. in my opinion. Yep. All right. Now, Chelsea against Leicester. Six, seven. <sighs> mate. Yeah. You'd have to. <laughs> I want. I want to. I want to give a reason to get you know Leicester fans excited, but you know it's. You don't have a reason. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing I can give you. I think we're all going for Chelsea on that one, yep. lads. Yep. All right, Crystal Palace at home, Salhurst Park with could be a new manager. Mm. There's talks of um, uh, McAllister. Was it um, Gary Mack? What's his name? Uh, Cardiff City's manager last season. Um, Mac Mackey. Yeah, Mackey. Is it Mackie? Mackay? Mackay? Mackay. 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 There's talks that he's going to be yeah. there get the Sherwood's job. Sherwood's been linked as well. Uh, oh, yeah, London Moisey. lads. Moisey. Legend. Nah, Sherwood. Yeah, Legend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, London Derby lads. Hey. Palace. Hey, hey. London. I mean, uh, West Ham. Sorry, West Ham fans out there, but if Carlton's call is playing, I will not tip West Ham. <gasps> Cross them off, boys. Yep. I'm going uh, Crystal Palace. I'm going a draw. I reckon Samuel Dice, what he can do... Defend. Defensively is good. Defend, mate. It's cool. it's attacking where you got to be worried. So I'm gonna go for a draw on that game. All right, Southampton against West Brom. Southampton. Yeah, they, they impressed me. They Southampton. Yep. Yeah, but West Brom were good too. Yeah, yeah. but the defenses are rubble, yeah. mate. But the, but but you gotta remember that eight days ago we we're talking about Southampton getting for sure relegation. Then I seen Tadic play. 
And uh, the, the other striker they have Pe- Pele. 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 What a beast. Pele. He's not Pele, but he's Pele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pele. But uh, he looks like a big player. Yeah, player. yeah he, he does. Like, he'll cause a lot of trouble this year. Yep. Uh, and um, just until Jay Rodriguez gets back, mate. Yeah, yeah, when he got an injury, yeah, it's hard to say. Good, I know I've had good. an knee reconstruction and never played football again <laughs> since. It's very hard to come back from. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, um, Swansea against Burnley in uh, Swansea, Cardiff. Bang. Burnley first trip to Wales, I think, will be very difficult. Yeah, I think it's all around here, lads. We're all going for Gary Monk. Swansea here. Back to back. <laughs> Swansea could be on top of the table after two <laughs> rounds. All right. Gee. Now, in a big game last season, this was huge last season, if you guys remember the last season. Everton <laughs> at home to Arsenal. Yep. This is going to be a game. This is probably... There's one other game that's going to be just as good as this one. How but many games did Everton lose at home last season? Not many, mate. Not many. Not they, many. They, they threw Liverpool. one Liverpool. to Manchester City. They gave them that game. <laughs> and I can't game. remember losing any other game. I think Everton will win this game as well. Yeah. Arsenal. I don't know. This is Arsenal. Sharp. This is going to be a big test for Arsenal because I think they got City next week as well. Oh, I geez. think I'm not too sure, but they've got a tough run now. Arsenal, yeah, the next yeah. three games. City will be coming off a loss as well. We'll get to that in a minute. <sighs> yeah. Um. I'm probably going to have to go with a draw. Yep. Right, I'm tipping a lot of draws this round, lads. I got all the hope. Teams, Arsenal's so. just played Besiktas, so. They, I don't think they're going to be completely fresh. Everything's not quite up to scratch. Draw, mate. You reckon draw as well? Draw. All right. Hull City at home to Stoke. Mm, Another tough game. Another real... <laughs> Can I throw a draw again? <laughs> uh, I'd yeah, prob- draw, mate. I probably reckon Hull. Yeah, I'm going to go with another home win as well. I'm going to say Hull. Steve I reckon, Bruce, I, I reckon uh, Steve Bruce, they're organised. They look good against South- um, West Brom. Scratch that. Yeah. Mark Hughes is not happy. Stokes getting a win. Bang. <laughs> you reckon Stokes going to win? Go on, Sparky. All right. Give me a win, mate. All right. Another Tottenham Lander. at home. First game of the season. They're at home. White Hart Lane to QPR. Another London derby this weekend. Not that's... even a question. Yeah, I think, I, think I, I think Tottenham will have their first home win. Yeah, mate, good, good. Harry Redknapp against his old side, lads. Oh, He's going to be up oh, for you know it. What? Um, They've just signed... Um, Vargas. Yeah. White Vargas. That is some signing, man. Um... And one more guy. Tottenham, uh, you could flip a coin on their day at home. Yeah, you Poch- never know. if Pochettino, they're... mate. He's got him sorted, don't you? I tip Tottenham. That's the other thing I'm worried about. Pochettino. Pochettino. Yeah. He's a very good manager. I anyway. tip Tottenham in the hope that I actually get that one wrong. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I think so. We're all going Tottenham round here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Sunderland at home to United. We mate. bounce back, boys. We bounce back. I'm glad you're confident. I'm not as confident as that. Don't worry. We don't this play. is the first away team I'm going to pick for. <laughs> what? With confidence? I just yeah. jumped off the fence. <laughs> <laughs> not with confidence, but you have a decent record, don't you, at, um, at Sunderland? Yeah? Mm, we won 2 1 last year. Yanis I scored two goals. Yep. Yeah. Us, man. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Gardner got the IPL. Ah, yeah. I All think right. you've got a decent record there. Yeah. Van Hal. Depends. Rojo Gonna go United Always gonna yes, go with yes, United yes, mate. Not with much confidence Let me tell you right now But With some confidence yes. Now the, they, they do it on purpose yeah, The Premier oh, yeah. League They build it up mate. Monday Night Football Always Biggest game of the round lads Tuesday morning Boss I'm gonna be late <laughs> City At the Empty Head Stadium To yeah. Liverpool yeah. I'm looking at you Chris Last season Steve Jones Last season, <laughs> Liverpool should have won. Sterling. Scored that goal. Onside. Mate, linesman couldn't keep up. Too fast. But Is he going to get the job done now without Suarez? Is I, that... I, I'm happy to play Man City at this time. We have not hit our straps, but they haven't either. So Because it's early days. It could go either way. I just hope it goes our way. But City's first game of the season at home yeah, that'd be the as best. champions. That would be the best way to actually put them back in their hole. It would be that would losing this week would dint their confidence. Oh, but big having time. said that, if you offered me a draw right now, I'll take it. Yes, ah, oh, definitely, That's definitely. A so, how many points you got? Great. <laughs> Banter has already started on the <laughs> seven show, lads. All right, I'm gonna go. Jeez, mm, no confidence here. To New York City, bang. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm probably going to have... I'm leaning... I'm leaning... I'm only leaning towards City just because it's home. 
Don't like, if it. this game was at Anfield, I'd be tipping Liverpool. I tipped Liverpool. Having, don't think I didn't tip Liverpool. I've tipped Liverpool. <laughs> Uh, lads, um, I'm gonna have to go with City just no. because they're gonna be fresh. They got basically got two squads. Yep. Liverpool didn't look that impressive against Sun, uh, Southampton, so didn't. Gonna go have to go with City. Go on, City. All right, lads. Time now to get into the Q and A from the fans. I ask a lot of you guys to tweet me some questions, lads. Now, not just Man United questions because we're gonna try involve a lot of you guys because a lot of you guys just don't go for Man United. A lot of you guys don't go for Liverpool. A lot of Premier League clubs out there. So we're going to try a variety of different questions. So uh, next time, lads, in the next episode, leave your comments down below or tweet me. Or tweet one of these lads, guys. Their link's going to be in the description. But make sure you use the hashtag 7show so I can find and, it real easy. And use the hashtag banter because there's a lot of that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> there will be. There will be. All right. So first question, lads. Now, this guy is a big, big uh, guy on YouTube. Um, on Twitter. His name's Marco Red Devil. Go follow him. Mate, he tweets a load of Man United uh, pictures. Good man. Mate, yeah, good guy, good guy. Um, this is for you, Edgar. Man United question. All right. Ed Woodward, hashtag off. Gary Neville, executive of Manchester United uh, Football Club. Can he take over Ed Woodward's role? Would you like to see Mate, that? Mate, how good does that sound? Jeez. Look. Just going off what Woodward's done, which is nothing. Um, <laughs> Basically. Ga- Gary Neville knows how we work. He'll get the job done and he doesn't take no for an answer. Gary Neville sounds sensational, mate. I'll hey, take it. Does Gary Neville sound sensational on Sky Sports? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But um, how will he go as an agent ringing clubs? Mate. And he is 100%. There is a reason why Gary Neville is our captain. He'll get the job done, mate. But the lack of experience, man, no matter what job you got, I'm worried. I'm worried. I would love to see it. It's a dream. It's a dream story. But unfortunately, in the real world, dreams don't work out. So Alex Ferguson picked his own successor, Scottish lad, just like him. And we all know how that turned out. So, but in saying that, bring back David Gill. That's who I want. Don't worry about. Don't worry about Ed Woodward. He can write off. But uh, anyway, it's Chris. Next question is to you, my friend. Now, this is from Man United, a lover. All right. <laughs> How do you Good reckon man. Liverpool will handle an injury from Sturridge or Sterling this season? Uh, I think that that's a great question. At this point Game in time, over. at this point in time, they'll struggle. But ask me again on the second of September if we could get a decent striker in. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, what I would say is. If Liverpool were to lose any player, it wouldn't be them two for me. That's the most important. I'd say it'll be Jordan Henderson. If Jordan Henderson goes down, I think Liverpool will go down. I disagree, man. Yeah. If if Sturridge goes down, you could, you's, you've got cover for Henderson. You yeah, don't have yeah. cover for Sturridge. Ricky Lambert, what are you talking about, Chris? Uh, I, don't, I don't think we can cover Henderson. <laughs> like last season. No, right. you got Emre Can. Yeah. No, he's he never played a minute. He's okay, he minute. hasn't. Okay. Hender- well, if you who are you going to chuck in Sturridge's role? That's what I'm saying. They could sign someone this week. Yeah, that's true. That's the, that's the very hard thing, lads, I want to tell you guys. It's so hard to give predictions right now until the transfer window closes, isn't yeah. it? I want to it's talk about Falcao. <laughs> yeah, li- mate, Liverpool being linked with Lavezzi, Cavani and Falcao. They are massive, massive deals if you can sign one of them. Yeah. In my opinion, they're massive. They're all massive <laughs> players. Falcao will be excellent. So. They're all they're all big Champions League players. But I, don't, I said I think I said this last week. I, I don't want anyone to come in bigger and be Sturridge. bigger than Sturridge. I do not want that because I think he, like I said, he he plays. Yeah, he, the he needs the love. He needs the love. <laughs> he does. He does. All right, Hega. Now the next question is from Jack Halham. I hope I pronounced that right. Jack. Do you think that Alexis Sanchez will make a huge impact on Arsenal and the way they play? This is I can ask both of you this question. Well, I'll start off if you don't mind, Chris. Yeah, go for it. Actually, right. actually, can I start off? Because hey, you answered the first two. Get into it. All right. Alexis Sanchez, I've had this opinion since the day they bought him. Yep. I don't think he will have a huge impact on the way Arsenal will go about it. He's a very similar type of player to Wilcott, Chamberlain, Ramsey, the players that they've already got, Ozil, he ain't going to make a huge impact on that team. Yes, he will make an impact and it will be positive and it will help unlock defences, but if they had got a player like Balotelli or a big man up front, if they got, I know they can't anymore, but if they got Luis Suarez last season, that impact would be 
a hundred times bigger than what Alexis Sanchez will. Mm-hmm. That's my opinion. What do you reckon? Mate, you stole my thoughts. I think exactly the same. Um, it's almost identical to Walcott and... Classy player, Sanchez. Yeah, oh yeah, he's flashy, mate. The only um, thing, the only thing I'll say that's different to Walcott is that he's ma- he's not an injury as injury prone, yeah. and he could probably play consistently Brick house, mate. fifteen Brick games, house. twenty games in a row. Yeah. A I, 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 I just don't see him scoring bags of goals. I think he'll get some assists, but I don't see him dominating or making a massive impact. Okay, now this is uh, an unbelievable question, and I really want to thank this lad for this question here. I can't pronounce your name, but it's up there on the screen. I'm not even going to attempt that one. <laughs> but Chris, do you think if Suarez never beat Chiellini, would Suarez still be in Liverpool? Or at Liverpool, you should have said. Uh, personally, uh, I, I don't think he would be. I, I think that this deal was done a long time ago. That's just what I think. I think last year they told him that just give us one more season, get us back to the Champions League and you can get your wish and go play where you speak. So. Edgar, what do you reckon? Yeah, well, the Barcelona president or one of the big dogs at Barcelona actually came out and said the deal was almost done before the World Cup had even begun. Mm. So Suarez was on the radar of Barcelona quite early. So I'm going to have to agree because for me, a very big telltale sign was when he was crying against Crystal Palace at the end of that game. He knew his, days, his day was over. days were over at Liverpool. In my yeah, opinion, he, he gave us. He gave us. His oh, he opinion. did. He, he did, that, and that's why the emotion came out after that yeah. game because he knew deep down what was happening behind the scenes. It's over. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, hey, go, getting a bit too keen. All right, mate. <laughs> Next week we're gonna see a UFC referee here in the studio. And there's seven studios, lads. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna have to be me. All right. All right, Chris. This is for you. Okay. Now, this is from Tom Bitson, all right? And he asks, if you, many United... Okay, he's talking to me here. Oh, okay, to United. <laughs> all right. If United signed nobody else in a transfer window, realistically, where would United finish? Uh, if the squad as what we have, which is Rojo, Nani out, and Herrera and Shaw in. I could be wrong. Yeah, as everyone could be, but I'd say that that at the moment with the team they have and the squad and gelling with Van Hull, I think that outside the top four, I don't think they could finish in the top four unless they make a couple big signings. There you go. Top four, fourth, fourth. So who, no who, signings. Who's missing out? Can I just give my That's opinion before I we start? Have. I reckon we will be lucky to finish fifth. And that's because we have no Champions League. If we had Champions League this season and we had no more signings, we would be finishing 7th again. But because we've got no Champions League, we will probably scrape 5th position. Because our squad now is not good enough. We are... A lot of us... A lot of people linked us to Liverpool because we've got no Champions League. But I think we're going to be a lot more like Arsenal where we can compete with the smaller teams yeah. but we're just going to get smashed against all the big top sides you've seen Arsenal last year romped by Liverpool City Chelsea um, where else did they get smashed Arsenal Everton mate and that that is going to be United this season that's why I reckon if we get no signings okay. back to my question Who, who's going to miss out of the top four Who, whose spot is United going to take well <laughs> great question you're going to have to wait until I give predictions for that. <laughs> okay. No, you're going to talk it out. Now. Talk, talk it out. No, give him a brief answer. Who? Can you, all right, City. Yeah, for sure. Yes or no? Maybe. Maybe. You're going to have to wait. Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> for me, for me, they're top two. No questions asked. Just put that, lock okay. that in now. All right. All right. You can flip a coin which order. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Then there's a three-way battle. Okay. It was probably a two-way battle, if realistically. I, if, if I give but my answer now, there's a good chance Chris will reach out and hook me. Nah. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's on video, guys. All right. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a three-way league here, okay? Possibly four or five teams, okay? All right. There's Liverpool, Arsenal, United, Tottenham, Everton. Okay. I don't think Tottenham and Everton, because they've got Europa League and their squads aren't big enough. Squad my opinion, it's between out of Arsenal... Okay, great squad, Champions League. Liverpool, 
decent squad, a lot of players, enough to cover Champions League, but you do have Champions League now, all right? And then United, no Champions League. So it very evens up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It evens up. But with United's squad, if we don't buy any players, not good enough. So it's a two-horse race. And that finishes the top four for me. For me, I think 80% of United fans are way too quick to judge off one game. You guys are forgetting that we're missing Welbeck and we're missing Van Persie, who I think is still going to have a sensational season. Yep. And I rate Van Hal so high. You know, he humiliated Spain. Yeah. And so I don't think we're going to get thumped against Man City. We're not going to get thumped against Arsenal. We might lose, but we are not going to get thumped by anyone. Well, the only thing I'll say to that, Edgar... Welbeck. Yes. Oh, mate, Danny. The only thing I'll say to that is we've never lacked up front. Up front's never been the issue for us. Our issue has always been in the centre of the park. We'll if we don't sign anyone, it ain't going to get sorted. I have faith, mate. Cleverly. You shine We've right now, Clever- You shine right now, mate. Cleverly, Anderson, Fellaini, Fletcher. Fellaini. That's our midfield. And Herrera. All right? That's our midfield. Okay. I'm not complaining. <laughs> so you're telling me those players are going to be up against Fabregas, Yaya Toure, you know, Gerard Henderson, you know. Correct. Wilshire. You know, you're telling me those players are going to mix it with those types of players? Yes. I think you're in a dream world, mate. I yes. think you're in a dream world. What do you... What do you give us your honest opinion here. Is, uh, is, is uh, Edgar dreaming here or is he is he on the right track? He, he could be He could be on the right track, but it's a first. It's Van Hal's first season. It's just hard. To That's see. all exactly, Van Hal needs, mate. mate. That's all he needs. Any, any coach comes into the Premier League the first season, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. Right. Like Roger said, Van Hal is the a king when he got it already after season. one game. He did, mate. He did. So. He did. All right. Now the last question is from a big popular YouTuber, my mate Pepsi FIFA, and he asks you this, Chris, a special question to you, mate. Chris, uh, Curtis Seven. All right. Chris, this is for you. All right. How's Chris going to handle losing the Merseyside derby in a late September? Hashtag Seven Show. Is he evident fan? He's a huge Everton fan, my friends. What's his name so I don't ever subscribe to his show? <laughs> 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 nah, Pepsi FIFA, he's a he's an Aussie. He I'll does FIFA man. YouTube, but go and subscribe to him. I'll Check subscribe. Him I'll subscribe just so I can comment. We, we'll, <laughs> I think we'll give him an absolute hiding. September 27, uh, 945. Yeah, geez, wait. already. He's got to mark down in his diary. He's calling names out, guys. <laughs> jeez. <laughs> But uh, anyways, lads, that's come to the end of the seven show. Thank you for coming again. But like I said, lads, for, uh, for your questions next week, get your comments down below. Hashtag the seven show. And I'm also working on a few things, lads. Hopefully by this time next week, we'll be off and running in our own iTunes store. So hopefully we'll be on our podcast. And thank you, thank you. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we can get that deal done. But one thing that is open now, lads, is the Curtis Seven store. So, if you guys want any hoodies, t-shirts, phone covers, go and check out my shop. That is now officially open. You can get in all different colors, any colors you want. So, uh, make sure you go check that out. And they're comfy. Anyways, lads, thank you for coming. And I'll see you guys next week. Anyways, this is Chris. This is Edgar. We're the 7th Show. Take care. And peace.